Today we're going to be talking about the best video editors for Windows. You guys really liked my video on the best free editors available, so I thought I would do a full 2020 roundup. We're going to be going over four different categories, the best paid video editors over $300 and then under $300. And then we're going to be going over the best online options as well as the best free video editors available for you. So with that being said, let's get started. So first, let's talk about the best paid video editors over $300. And the first option is Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro is a monthly subscription. And if you get just Premiere Pro, it'll cost you around $20 per month. And if you want all of the Adobe apps, it's going to cost you approximately $50 a month. So granted that you use this app for over a year, it's going to cost you well over $300. Now, there are a lot of pros to using Adobe Premiere Pro. As a matter of fact, it is the editor I also use. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro is one of the industry standards, similar to Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve, and it's fairly simple to use and has a familiar UI. With Adobe Premiere Pro, you have no limitations. You can do all of the editing you need to do, from cutting clips and adding text all the way to doing some serious color grading and adding video effects. You're not going to be constrained by the software itself, and Adobe Premiere Pro also supports a ton of different formats so no matter what kind of file you're throwing at it you can be sure that adobe premiere pro will be able to handle it now what you're really paying for here is also the integration adobe premiere pro is going to work really well with a lot of the other adobe apps such as adobe after effects and adobe audition so if you're going to be using a lot of different tools and you want to make sure that everything works very seamlessly then you might want to go ahead and purchase the adobe suite Linus Tech Tips also made a really good video on this where he talks about how Premiere Pro might not be the best video editor for him, but just because he uses all of the Adobe apps and he has a very large team, they're saving a lot of time because of this integration, which is why they haven't switched to any other platforms. Another thing you might want to keep in mind is that Adobe Premiere Pro is also more CPU intensive than the other options on this list. But if you're doing a lot of creative work, you want to use an industry standard and you're going to be using a lot of other apps as well, or maybe you're working with a bunch of other people, Adobe Premiere Pro might be the perfect option for you. Now, the second option on this list is Vegas Pro 17. It isn't Sony Vegas because Sony doesn't own the Vegas software anymore, but it is owned by a company called Magix. Now, Vegas Pro 17 is $600, but it does often go on sale. And if you're going to be doing video editing for a long time, this would mean that this is still cheaper than buying Premiere Pro because it's not subscription-based. Now, similar to Premiere Pro, because you're paying a lot of money, it does everything you'll need it to do, all the way from color grading to video effects. Now, some people say that it isn't as advanced as Premiere Pro, but it does have greater support for external plugins if that is something you're looking for. One key difference is that with Vegas, you can also turn on GPU acceleration for your rendering. So if you have a good graphics card, you can render videos a lot faster if that's something that is important to you. On top of that, similar to Premiere Pro, Vegas Pro 17 also has really good integration with a lot of the other Magic software apps, but it's nowhere near as good as the Adobe products, but it's good to know that you have the option available. People also say that Vegas Pro 17 is easier to use because it has dockable windows and you can easily modify your working environment. You'll also find that on average, the software by Magix is a lot cheaper than the Adobe products and they go on sale more often. So it just depends on which suite you want to use. And once you figure that out, it'll be easier to decide if you want to use Premiere Pro or Sony or Vegas. All right, now let's move on to cheaper programs. We're going to be talking about three video editors that are under $300, but really, really good value. Now, the first editor on the list is Movavi Video Editor Plus, and it's only 65 Canadian, so I'm assuming it's around $50 USD. And for those of you who've watched my old videos, you know from my tutorial videos, I like to use Camtasia because Camtasia is really easy to use, and you can save a lot of time with the simple interface, and it also has all of the editing functionality I need for my tutorial videos. Now, Movavi is the exact same, except it's a quarter of the price. I really wish I knew about it earlier, but Movavi is a very easy to use editor that still has a lot of advanced functionality from keyframing to stabilization to chroma keying, as well as being able to add any sort of text or effects. And it even has a library of different effects available for you. Another really good thing about Movavi is it's also easier to run on slower computers. So if you don't have a super decked out PC, you can still run Movavi with no problems, which isn't the case with a lot of the editors on these lists. 
And then finally, if you're only using a video editor and you're not super proficient with graphic design, Movavi also has a built-in collection of different media from effects to text, and they even have an external store where you can find intros and other graphics for your videos. So Movavi is a great simple editor that has a lot of functionality. Next up on the list, we have Filmora Pro. Now Filmora Pro costs $120 for a one-year license or $200 for the lifetime license, and you can often find it on sale as well. Now Filmora is kind of in the middle. You're not paying as much as a Premiere Pro, so you're not getting all of the features, but depending on the kind of videos you make, Filmora Pro can be the perfect editor for your needs. It can handle things such as keyframe editing, motion tracking, as well as color keying. And Filmora Pro also has a pretty robust audio editor, and the interface is very similar to Premiere Pro and other video editing apps. So Filmora Pro is kind of like a good stepping stone if you want to get into video editing and then later want to move to Premiere Pro but don't have the money just yet. You can start with Filmora and learn how to edit and do everything you need to before you make that jump, and it's not too expensive. Next up on the list, we have DaVinci Resolve Studio, and I'm just going to put it out there. This is probably the best value on this list because you're paying $300, but you're getting the same quality editor as Premiere Pro or Vegas, which are, you know, almost double the price. The reason I say DaVinci Resolve Studio is one of the best values is because it is not compromising on any functionality. In fact, it can do some things better than Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro 17. Its team functionality is incredible. You have the ability to send read-only files and even have a chat in the editor if you're working with a team. Some things that Premiere Pro and Vegas don't even have, which is really important to consider if you're going to be using a product for your video editing team. On top of that, DaVinci Resolve Studio probably has the best color correcting interface out of any of the options on this list because it was initially made to be a color correcting tool. So if you're someone who's going to be doing a lot of filmmaking, this is really important to consider as well. At a cheaper price, you're not going to be missing out on any of the functionality, but what you do want to consider is your computer. DaVinci Resolve does require a lot of processing power, and on top of that, if you're comparing DaVinci Resolve to the higher price alternatives, such as Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro, you also want to consider the integration. Now, Blackmagic Design, the owner of DaVinci Resolve Studio, also has its own software that integrates really well with DaVinci Resolve, such as Fusion. So if that is an app you're already using for your effects and your animation, animations, then DaVinci Resolve Studio is a no-brainer for you. All right, now we're moving on to the best online video editors. So these are tools you can use online without having to download anything. So if you're using a Chromebook, you might want to look into these online editors. And we're going to be going over one paid option and one free option. And the paid option is WeVideo. Now WeVideo can cost anywhere from $5 to $30 a month, depending on how many features you want to use and the rendering quality you're going to be using. So if you're doing 1080p, you might have to pay a little bit more. But WeVideo is probably the best online editor just because it has the most features. It has all of the simple features you need, such as being able to cut different video clips and add text, and also some more advanced features such as chroma keying. And with WeVideo, even though it's an online editor, you're going to be able to make a really solid final product depending on the kind of YouTube videos or videos in general that you're going to be making. Another cool thing about WeVideo is that depending on the version you purchase, you, all, you can also get access to over 1 million different stock images and videos that you can also use for your content. And to give some context, I'm currently paying, I think, 20 or $30 a month for Storyblocks, which is where I get all of my stock footage from. So this could also be a really good value. And then finally, on top of that, WeVideo also has a mobile editor. So if you're going to be using your Chromebook or your phone and tablet, then you want to also consider this because there's also an app available. And so if you're looking for the most robust online video editor, I would recommend WeVideo. Now the best free online video editor in my opinion is Kapwing. Kapwing is completely free and as long as your videos are under 10 minutes long, you're not going to have any watermarks as well. And Kapwing is really good for editing simple videos. And what's really nice about Kapwing is, it, is that they also have some standalone tools. So if you're looking to only add subtitles or only trim your video, you can do it very, very quickly with its standalone tools. But if you also wanna just edit a quick video, you know, cut up some clips, add some text and subtitles, you can do all of that with the Kapwing 
Bang video editor. So I'll link that down below as well. And finally, let's talk about the best free apps. Now, like I said, I've already made a video on this where I go over the top five, but in this video, I'm going to be going over the top two, the best ones that I think you should download. And the first one is DaVinci Resolve 16. Now I talked about DaVinci Resolve Studio and DaVinci Resolve 16 is basically a free watered down version. You're actually not losing a lot of the features. You're missing a lot of the teamwork functionality. So if you're working with a team, you, you would have to buy the pro version, but with Resolve 16, the free version, you're still able to export all the way up to 4K. You're getting access to most of the video editing functionality. You're not getting as many, you know, VFX functionalities and advanced editing options, but just compare the two in terms of all of the functions. There's over a hundred different functions, so I can't cover them all in this video. And chances are you can probably make really good videos with the free version. And if you're looking for something to learn over time and you don't have that much money, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. Now the final product on this list is HitFilm Express, which is the free version of a product called HitFilm Pro. With HitFilm Express, you can edit videos and you can have unlimited tracks, but once again, you're limited by the amount of effects you have access to, as well as the really advanced editing features. And I would say that, you know, because they're both free products, just try them both out and see which one you like better. I have tried to find a ton of reviews and basically, you know, I would say people are split 50-50. Some people like DaVinci Resolve more. Some people say HitFilm Express is easier to use. So just try them both since they're free, make one video on each and see which one is best for you. Other small differences are that DaVinci Resolve is probably much better for color correcting, whereas HitFilm is better for actual video effects. People have said that DaVinci Resolve is harder to use, but it goes both ways. So all you need to do is try them both out. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did find a new editor for your videos. And if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.